Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to talk about somatosensory evoke potential and knowing the sensation which are carried in this pathway. So during high risk surgical procedures, sensory evoke potential or SSCP monitoring protects the patient ascending pathway, which are also known as dorsal column medial meniscus pathway. There are five sensations which are carried in this pathway, and these are proprioception, stereognosis, tactile discrimination vibration sensation and weight discrimination so those are the five sensation which are carried in the, uh, these fibers so it's important to remember that pain and temperature sensation are not carried in sscp pathway on or pain and temperature are part of spinothalamic pathway which are more lateral in the spinal cord comparing to the sscp pathway which are dorsal column medial meniscus pathway so the sensation which are carried are proprioception, stereognosis, weight discrimination, two-point dis discrimination or tactile discrimination, and touch. And no. So the five sensation which are carried mentioned earlier, those are proprioception or kinesthesia, is a sense which we perceive the position of movement of our body. So without looking at our body, we can tell where is our hand or feet in time and space. That's proprioception. The second one is stereognosis. That's the ability to tell the shape of the object by holding the object in your hand. So you can tell it's a square, round, and oval without looking at the object. That's known as stereognosis. The third one is tactile discrimination. And tactile discrimination is also known as two-point discrimination. So what is two-point discrimination? Each patch of our skin, which is supplied by a single nerve root, is known as dermatome. And dermatomes, each dermatome is carried the signal is carried through a single nerve root. So if somebody touches your skin with a too sharp object at two points, and if those two points in, are in two different dermatomes, even the, the touch at the same time, you can tell that this is uh, carried by two, there are two points, they're not one point. So, but if you move the two sharp objects very close to each other and you're touching in the same dermatome, then you cannot differentiate this of one prick or two pricks. So the only way you can tell the difference between the two the pricks at the same time is if you are touching the two, two dermatome. If the spinous SSCP pathway or dorsal column path pathways are damaged, the person cannot tell the difference even they are not in the same dermatome. So the dermatomes are very, very small on your hand and fingers and face as compared to your back or abdomen or lower extremities and upper extremity. So in upper extremity, you have to be very, f or back of the body, so you have to be very far apart to differentiate between the two pigs because the dermatomes are very large as compared to the fin. The next one is vibration sens sens sensation and also known as paresthesia uh, is the ability to perceive the vibration on your skin. The last one is weight discrimination and that's the ability to tell the weight of the object by holding the object. So it's a light weight or heavy weight. So that's called weight discrimination. So those are the five sensory signals which are carried in SSCP pathway. So the SSCP monitor pathway can be monitored in the operating room or a clinical setting by stimulating a sensory nerve or mixed nerve and recording from periphery from subcortical and cortical. So typical, if you stimulate median nerve, as is median nerve, uh, you can, we can do in a wake patient or we can do a patient under anesthesia and we can record the signal and we can tell that sensory pathway is intact in these, these patients. So the benefit of monitoring sensory evoke potential or somatosensory evoke potential are two folds. We give, we can monitor the functional integrity of the spinal cord, brain stem, brain, and peripheral nervous system during surgical procedures. And indirectly, we also monitor the blood flow to these organs because if there's ischemic event or decrease in blood flow, the signal not be able to transmit and we can see the changes during uh, any procedure. Just before you start monitoring your SSAP, just remember which sensation you're monitoring because if there's any change in signal, then we can tell if the surgeon asks, what is the, if there's a change, what will be the outcome? So we know which sensory function will be affected. And those are the five function and not the pain and temperature. The second part is important to know which pathway is taken. 
pathway takes the signal to the brain and where are the generators and what are the peaks there. Thank you.